What's up and good evening guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is video three, I think, of the Papa Rhino F450 project, which is what we have behind us here. Zach's already busy working on the front here. And if you guys remember the last video, we basically got the jib from Eddie, got the forklift all set up, got it all strapped down. Obviously the straps are loose because we lowered the forks down there. And then we realized we didn't have the right socket to uh, yeah, pull these bed bolts off. Now we did pick it up. It is an EP24, but you have to have the EP plus 24. Apparently there's a regular EP24 and there's an EP, EP plus 24. Regular EP24 does not work, whereas the EP plus does. Now, unfortunately, you know, Ford decided they were going to bedliner these things and they're going to bedliner right on over top of the bed bolts here. Which means we get to go in and cut off the bedliner there to expose the bolt head, otherwise, well, that doesn't fit on it. Now, the fact that we're working out here without our supervisor who, uh, you know, he's busy in the office, let's go say hi to him. And we also have Gunner here. You guys both taking naps or what? Shh. Oh. But Gunner's like, why'd you leave me in here with this man? What's up, Gunner? So if you guys have been following along on Instagram, you guys probably saw Gunner with his bandaged up ears the other day. A lot of you guys were asking what happened. So Gunner, like a lot of labs, he gets uh, chronic ear infections because well, their ears sit down. They don't sit up, so not a lot of air gets in there for their air for their ears to breathe. So Gunner's always gotten ear infections, and we always got to get in there and clean out his ears. It also causes him to shake his head quite a bit from time to time, and it seems like he smacked both ears on something in the house. And that caused him to get some hematomas. Chris, what's a hematoma? An infection. No, basically like his actual ear filled up with fluid. Basically like cauliflower ear that you see on like wrestlers and all that. Gunner, you wrestler? Gunner's a fighter, dude. So Gunner had some drains put in, which are, oh, hold on buddy, I'm sorry buddy, I'm sorry buddy. You guys can see there's two drains in either ear right there. They gotta stay in for a couple of weeks to make sure we drain all the fluid out of his ears. Otherwise he ends up with cauliflower ear and looks like a fighter. I mean, he already is a fighter, look at that guy. Chris, you his nurse? Mm -hmm. It, however, has not slowed down Gunner at all. He is still the very happy puppy. Like, he's kind of pissed right now that I'm making him stay in this room. However, we have a bunch of metal shavings and stuff out in the shop, and I don't want those to get in his paws. I don't want those to get in Chris's paws either. So, uh, stay busy, Chris. Yeah. Let's start this fun. Come on, booger. Come on, booger. There we go. Kind of, sort of. Two down. Six more to go. All right, guys, we got a pretty good system down now. Going pretty efficiently here. So we're just, you know, scoring around the outside. It makes it a little bit easier here having a hammer. We just come in the center right here, crack off this top part. And of course, this one's not gonna go as smooth because we're recording. Get death. And then we go for the lower section, split it, and peel it. Now that all the bed bolts are off, well, not off, they're, we can get to them. Yeah. <laughs> Accessible. Yeah, all the little things you don't think about. All the caca right there for the fuel fill line there, the def line, whatever that is. All right, Zach, you want me to get these off? I got an impact. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Watch out, Zach. Oh, no. Look at that bad boy right there, Zach. <laughs> That's not gonna get him off? You don't think so? Zach's got no faith in me, guys. No faith. I put a roof over your head, and this is how you treat me. Mr. Arizona. Well, I'm gonna put it on three. <laughs> hey, Zach, they put these things on real tight. Mm -hmm. They're a uh, torque to spec. What do they call them? To yield. Torque to Which yield. All torque to yield means is torque to stretch. So you're torquing the stretch out of them. Yeah, I torqued, I, un I unstretched it. This thing has a stutter like my freaking other guns. All right, I have untorqued to stretch to yield. One, down. One stretchy bolt. One stretchy bolt. All right, Zach, my job's done. Bed bolts are out. Ready to lift it? All of them are All eight of them. Unless there's more I don't know of, which is always a good possibility. What you got down here, buddy? 42 oh. wire harnesses? Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Where do you want me to watch the cab? <laughs> I feel like we need to watch everything. <laughs> you know, typical Chris leaves before the fun. Yeah, Chris just left. Chris yeah. just left. Yeah. Should we get Gunner down here? Uh, he better supervise it. Wish us luck. Kind of excited about it. Nice. 
my thumb. I can't hear you. Down. Yeah. You want me to tilt forward? Yeah, just a little bit. Tilt it forward. All straps are loose. It's a little more peaceful this way. Stop breathing. It's propane. Propane accessories. Horn works. I feel safer now. Tilt back a little more. Get the back up. Now that I'm looking at it, because the front's starting to raise, but it's like this close to the corner cab. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, to probably tilt forward and pick up to where the back starts to pick up, and then we can go real slow. That way we can get the back up over the pitch and we can we got enough room. move it back got enough to come up past the cab. I'm willing to try it, Zachariah. I'm willing to try it. So you guys can see the tight tolerance we got right here between the bed and the cab. It ain't like the old pick-em-up trucks where it's just like flat, like here. And you got a solid two to three inches of play there. They had to make these little wings on the sides of the bed here come out real close to the cab. And None of this is fun to fix, especially right on like corners and bends like that. It's kind of tricky here to get this thing off. And we got to pick it up, get over the gooseneck hitch that's in this thing. So you're going to be able to kind of, I, I don't really know. Zach's thinking we pick up the back end first and just kind of scooch her up over the gooseneck. Well, you're walking talk, grab walking talk, can't hear you. Zach, Zach, can you hear me over? All right, buddy, give me some directions here. What was that? Yeah, give me some directions here. Sounds tight. Tilt forward. <laughs> Can't hear you. You're just walking, talking. Oh, it's in forward, buddy. Over. I'm leaving my load suspended. Careful, careful. No, that ain't enough room to get in there tight. What are you gonna do? All right, guys. So we got her up a little bit. See, right there, we got us a little. A little gap now between the uh, gooseneck hitch. However, we got us a bumper in the way. Thankfully, Ford put this nice plastic strip right here as well as clear bra right on the inside lip of the bumper. I'm assuming for this reason. I'm thinking once we get this bed off, what are we gonna do with it? You wanna set it on the bed of the mini truck? <laughs> so you don't wanna hang out underneath it? I don't wanna leave it up. Okay, so Zach doesn't wanna pull the bumper nor do I. So we're gonna try and pick the bed up. Zach doesn't want the bed to float in the air for the four days that he's gonna be under there. Hopefully, hopefully one day, hopefully one day. Uh, so we gotta get the bed scooched back. But as you guys can see, we've got the mini gooseneck right up to the door right there. We don't got a whole lot of room. We do have this space over here. However, like maneuvering this thing to get it over here with the mini truck, not that fun. Obviously the forklift is currently preoccupied. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot on that one. So I think we're gonna try and just like uncouple it, jack it up, and then like scooch her sideways here and put her in this little pocket. Zach, I think we jack this thing up, we slide it over. There's uh, one problem with that. Uh, go ahead for problem. Um, all the jacks are on the other side of the shop. <laughs> okay, Zach, um, well, we're just gonna abandon this whole plan, put the truck back to stock. What about the parts I cut off it? We don't have to tell anybody about the cut off parts, Zach. Stop talking on the radio, man. We might get people spying on us. Well, how do they know what channel we're on? You know, channel 11. All right, buddy, let's go. Uh, here, I got an idea. Let's put the tongue jack on this and then it'll roll. We're going to take this here four by. We're going to span the furniture dolly. And then we're going to have a side shift in trailer here. Uncoupled gooseneck. Is this a bad idea? It's a bad idea. Why is this a bad idea? This thing is gonna go whoop. Nah, what could go wrong, man? It's got one foot up here. I don't want to go any higher. Let me let me pop my bedside down here. You know, there's benefits of a mini truck right there. Look at that. And we don't have to come up over the side. I'll uh, uh, straight on my tongue jack. Okay, we're going backwards. Yeah, we're getting really close to the door. The problem is, is now we're going to turn the jack. Here, so I'm going to go down right. and then pull it forward. Go down. Good. Yeah. Oh, I just scared like 
this. I can see you again, bud. Don't worry, we can continue progress. You, you too, man. Hey, hold on, let's, let's wait. <laughs> Well, that was easy, you know? Got the shop rearranged here with the help of a jack and a little furniture dolly there and a Zach. Are we ready now? Keep it on that corner and then, well, I mean, we're kind of wedged in on both corners. I put my camera back up here just in case, you know, things go south. We just going, you know, nothing's gonna go south. It's gonna work. Okay guys, well that was a success. We did not damage anything, thankfully. We got the bed off. She's sitting up on some saw horses right now. Um, we're just gonna leave the jib attached. We've got a four by four right there holding it up even though these hydraulics have not leaked down. Um, we left them over the bed for like two or three days and they never leaked down, but just in case so we don't end up putting a bunch of weight on that plastic tailgate cap, we've got a four by holding it up, but all the tension and everything is off of it. I just don't want to like pull everything off and then try and like reattach it to where we know everything's like balanced because right now it's balanced pretty good. This is what a 450 looks like with the bed off. Um, you know, I understand the frame looks a lot thinner than I had anticipated there. Look at that. It's not, it's not that big of a frame, you know, she's kind of small. Gets a little fatter up here, you know, but you feel like this will be where the heavy part is. Granted, I'm no engineer. Zach, we can't let Papa Ryan see how dusty this is because he's gonna yell at me for going more than three miles an hour down my dirt road in the truck. Well guys, we are gonna call this a successful stopping point for the night. Bed's off, we're ready to go. Oh, also, I don't know where the box is, but uh, the air tank showed up, so that's cool. Right there, we don't wanna get too close, my address is on there anyway. So, as far as we know now, we have every part that we need. We just need this man to drink like 14 monsters and some of that, uh, White stuff that you, you just like the smell of it, right? Like the booger sugar? Yeah, you just, you just like the smell. So we'll be back tomorrow. Probably. <laughs> That's the confidence we need. <clears throat> Action. Check. Yeah, Check. The, the microphone's working. Okay. Okay, guys. We are back. We're ready for action. Ready to start tackling the rear. We've already run into like, I don't want to call it an issue, but we got to do some figuring here. Um, with the gooseneck hitch kind of being in the way of where some bracketry needs to go. Uh, I got my best brain on it over there. I'm doing it again what I'm qualified to do here and that is you know Get the frame a little cleaned up. She was dusty. She looked like that before we started but we've got a Chemical guys wheel cleaner even though it's in an Adams bottle if you guys saw my TikTok, you guys know I love the chemical guys wheel cleaner, but I hate chemical guys a spray bottle so uh, We're using a little bit of this just because I had it lying around and it's really cleaning the frame up good I'm sure water spit piss anything would probably do the same thing so save the, uh, that stuff's too expensive comments. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we've come to realize on the side plates. So we've got this plate right here that mounts to the frame, but then we've also got the gooseneck hitch, which has its mounting plates right there. So you either put it behind, which you can't really do, because then this plate is held off the frame by, you know, about a quarter inch there. Or you put it in front, which you can see now when you put it in front, you kind of hide this super sweet glossy powder coated plate with the factory gooseneck plate, which is uh, not very glossy. Granted, she'll, she'll clean up a little bit, you know, a little, little rag. Spritz over there of, uh, what are we using there today, Zach? The Renegade All Purpose. Okay, a little Renegade All Purpose. Like, it doesn't look bad. Is that pretty nice? It actually, actually kind of like, we should probably just leave that. <laughs> we were contemplating taking these two pieces to Swift Powder Coat and just powder coating these in like the exact gloss black to match, but like, Pretty freaking close. Yeah, that's pretty close. We were also staring at a dull piece of metal that's never been cleaned, but now that we see it cleaned up, 
Well, we're gonna put a light on it. Cause no, it doesn't look the same. No, it doesn't. All right, we're gonna use powder coated. All right, well then we just decided that. Zach, let me pretend to be a mechanic today, guys. Zach, gonna need a bigger one there. So see, guys, Ford has these sweet nuts, these big old wings on them here. A flag, sorry, flag. So when you go to tighten this thing, it smacks up against something, and you don't need to hold nothing on your nut there. That's great and all, but then they put a giant one right here, and I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on, let me get a little, little light in there. But there is a uh, bunch of little wires right there coming out of the back of that harness that looks like this thing, you know, has the potential to just go fling right into it. Maybe it'll stop it, maybe not. It's a guessing game. Is it though? Or do you do what I just do and it's, it's, go for it? It's that OG bitch probably light. No wires were harmed in the making of this video. Mm. We're not done yet though. This is the one that messes stuff up. Oh. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be scared. They put the thingy so we just turned the thingy, you know? The engineers thought of this, Zach. Did they? They yeah. only care about putting it together, dude. Oh. They don't care about what happens when you try to take it back apart. Alright. Hey -oh. That one had some uh, right? force on it. Next up, we need to get this leaf pack off, and unfortunately, to get that bolt out, the fuel tank's in the way. That is a full 42 gallons that we do not want to drain, nor try to pull down, because it's a lot of weight, so we can't really get that bolt out right there. So we're going to cut the head off and pull it out. You shouldn't do that next to a fuel tank. That's dangerous. Well guys, I think the bolt is winning. Zach just came in and got me and said, I need you on fire watch. <laughs> that means things are about to get sketchy. I am over it. Okay, we're giving up on cutting it out? Well, I already hit it once, and as you can see, you can get up. I'm gonna do it again, and then hit it with a hammer. And if it doesn't come off, we're gonna do it again. Okay. And I hit it with a hammer. But uh, yeah, it's just, make sure nothing melts on, catch nothing on fire. Yeah. It shouldn't, but it throws. Now these firecrackers are sketchy. So the popping is when the, the torch is having metal be put into the end of it. Hey, oh, that sounded good right there. Oh, cool. It'll even kind of come out. <laughs> Tin mushroom it? Yeah, it's a little mushroomed. Alright. Oh, well, that's easier. It already stinks. Oh. Stop. <laughs> okay, guys, just because we got the head cut off doesn't mean we're in the clear here. It's a little bit mushroom, so she doesn't want to pull all the way through. So Zach's got his little air belt sander thingy McBobber in there. His name's Fred. His name's Fred? Alright. Tell Fred to work harder. Oh, he's, he's doing his job. Okay. <laughs> We're free, buddy. We're free. Come on, guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Woo! Hold the boat up. All right. We're free, buddy. For sale. F450 Leaf Springs. Let's go. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to call it for the night. Zach needs uh, some beauty sleep. Burnt the beard today, so we got to, like, you know, get it to grow back tonight in his sleep. That is what makes that man beautiful. Don't, I need all the media sleep I can get. So, things got a little bit sketchy in this video, but we are making great progress. But with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn.